Lawyers of Cicely Adapa and her husband had argued that the application to abridge the time for the hearing of the case had been necessitated by undue hardships, stress, and embarrassments caused by the OSP suit. Lead counsel for the couple, Victoria Bath, told the court that the Office of the Special Prosecutor had failed to serve them early despite filing their processes on September 11. She noted that the OSP's application was a repetition of the previous one dismissed by the court on August 31. But lawyers of the Special Prosecutor, led by Esther Tete, argue that the substantive application was a fresh process unfettered by any prior considerations, adding that it stemmed from events of September 5 and not on July 24. Things got heated within the corridors of the court after the court rose for about five hours in anticipation of the ruling of the application. Lawyers for Madame Dapa hit out at Martin Pebu, a private legal practitioner who has in his sentiments as a panelist on media programs, condemned the actions of the former minister. In his ruling, Justice Edward Trum noted that further delay of hearing the matter would be inimical to the welfare of Cecilia Dapa and her husband since the OSP took over a month to select a return date to court despite filing the processes on September 11. Cecilia Dapa will now go to court on Thursday for the hearing of the determination of whether her assets and accounts should be freezed and seized. The court is also expected to take the plea of Madame Dapa in respect of one count of failure to declare property and income. Lodi Dwasari, TV3 News, Accra.